Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pokes Fit Channel. Hey, I just wanted to offer a little bit of clarity. I did a, a video, I think yesterday, on poly chords and how they sound so you could hear it. But uh, I actually had to record a video and then play that video back on my computer and play over it. So I just wanted to make this a little more clear for people that might have seen that video and might, might have a couple questions. I'll just kind of make it, kind of complete some thoughts on that just to make sure that you understand it. The, the idea was I was playing a major seven chord like this. And my, my approach on polychords, by the way, came from Horace Hatchett, who actually was one of the best guitar minds ever on the planet. He taught Howard Roberts how to play. Howard Roberts um, started, started GIT, which in, then became Musicians Institute in, in Hollywood, one of the most prestigious guitar schools in the world. Howard Roberts was, a, was one of the best guitarists ever on the planet and composers. Anyway, my take on polychords came from what I learned about it from Horace Hatchett about, you know, uh, chords that are, that are, you know, in harmony to each other. So there's also bi chords where you play two chords at one time, like this. And, uh, and, and there's lots of, it's like Joe Pass said, the definition is not what's so, it's not so much the definition that is so important as it is the idea. Because I, I watched somebody else on YouTube talk about polychords and personally didn't really like their take on it, but that's okay. He's entitled to explain it the way he wants to explain it. But the way I was taught by, by Horace Hatchett was that they're harmony chords that sound beautiful when played together or when played, you know, one and the other, and then, you know, as, as a way to do whatever you want to do. So the idea was like you play like here, like a G major seven, trying to keep my example simple, G major seven, okay? And then you go up, you know, three scale tones from each note. Now that scale tone can either be a minor third or a major third. Like here, it's it's a minor third, depending on what scale tone you're starting on. Okay, and um, so but, but that was the idea. So like with this chord, which was a G major seven, the poly chord was this uh, B minor seven. Okay, so on the video I did yesterday, I was mostly showing the second chord of this poly chord idea because I was showing this chord and then I was. You know, I was playing that and then playing this, and I was coming up a half step, and that, and I, I kept moving, moving around, and then I did some things where I, I went like, a, I think I went like a minor third, like I'd move a minor third. But that's a great way to practice this to get your ear, it's ear training. I mean, that's really too what the guitar ladder system is about is ear training and also learning all those different uh, chord connections as well as those 10 or 12 improvisational systems. You know, if you it's really true, folks. If you practice the right stuff, you can make a huge, huge leap and reach a level of musicianship you'll, you'll never get to without it. So it's really true. Guitar letter system works. But anyway, so if you want to practice this, do a major seven like this, and then at the same time, and then record yourself doing that, and then play this over it to, to hear that beautiful, uh, beautiful harmony, okay? And of course, in, in improvisation, you can always go from, from a chord to the polychord of a chord, and then you might want to go to something else. You know, you know, like I said, it's the combination, uh, combination of these different improvisational principles that makes music interesting. Not when you just stay stuck in one box or stuck in one approach. Okay. But anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. So if you want to practice that, do the G major seven like here on the fifth. I know I'm part. I might not be right at concert pitch. Here's my A. But anyway. Um, do uh, do the G major seven, and then do one note at a time, and play the the poly chord for it, which is the B minor seven. So kind of go like that, just like I did in my other video, and then do play that and record it. You can record on anything. Record it on your computer doesn't really matter. And then go so your brain can hear how those poly chords sound together. It's really kind of a cool sound. It kind of takes on a kind of a bell like. Uh, you know, crystalline quality. And my suggestion is move, you know, move this major seven up a half step. And then when you do move it, move, move the minor, the polychord up, you know. And then maybe, you know, come, come down, like move like a major, uh, a major third or a minor third. So maybe, maybe do like E here. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up for anybody that might have watched that polychord video and been a little confused. The first chord, major seven, and then you're playing the polychord, which is three scale tone. This, this was in the key of G. Three scale tones up, you know, 
the minor seven. So on that last video, when you keep seeing me do this chord, I'm playing the polychord for the major seven as I'm moving it around, okay? So I suggest you do that because it really sounds, it really sounds cool. And, uh, you know, polychords is, is one thing that you, that you learn. But that's what's so nice about the guitar ladder system is you don't need to get hung up with a bunch of theory. You just do all this stuff and you just naturally learn it. You it's very intuitive. It's very simple. You do not have to know theory. You do not know how, how to read music. You don't even have to understand scales and chords and all that. And, and I'm not saying it's not a good thing to understand what all that is. But there's a lot of really great players out there that don't understand it. But if you understand it on a subconscious level, on an intuitive level, if you learn the way that chords connect, um, you're just going to, you know, you're going to fall into, it's kind of like riding a bike. You just naturally learn how to do it, you know. But like, I'm not, I'm not suggesting you don't understand chords. It's nice to know that a major seven is a one, three, five, seven, diminished seven is one flat three, flat five, double flat seven, minor seven is one flat three, five flat seven. I mean, it's good to know all that kind of stuff. Uh, but really, the most important thing is, is understanding tension and resolution and how to connect chords and how to move up and down the neck and how to create different moods and different colors and how to be creative. And that's another thing the guitar ladder system really brings out your creativity. Um, but like I said, the whole approach is very natural. You, you just play these chord studies and you naturally um, just it, it just absorbs into your subconscious mind. And it's it's really pretty damn painless. You know, that's what's nice about it. There's no need for big, you know, bogged down theoretical discussions. You know, I can, I do explain a little bit of theory, but the most important thing um, is just to play the chord studies and, and listen to, to them. And, and your brain's automatically going to kind of categorize, uh, oh, okay, this goes to here, this goes to here, this goes to here, this goes to here. And then when you're not even practicing, you know, your subconscious mind's going to be kind of, kind of piecing the puzzles together. So it, that's one of the reasons I think people have such a quantum leap with my system and the stories come in almost every day about people who are having some just tremendous growth with it. It's even surprising them. So anyway, just wanted to do that. This is available to the LH uh, 280 from the Lords 499. It's really a nice guitar. I really like It's just got a really creamy, uh, really nice sound. And I'm using the solid state amp too. Anyway, I just wanted to do that. All right, have a great day. And uh, I have, I'm a dealer for the Recording King and the Laura stuff. I do deal directly with the Music League. I actually buy directly from the National Sales Manager. I'll, I'll make sure you get a great guitar. If you could use a Laura Arch Top or a Recording King Flat Top, I'll make sure you get a really good one. And I've got an unbelievable LH700 in right now, too. All solid, you know, hand-carved Arch Top, kind of like a 1929, early 30s L5 meets an Epiphone Deluxe. It's really a sweet guitar. All right, take care.